Another brick fan here with a Lego Spider-Man set. This is Spider-Man's Spider Crawler. This is set 76114, was released in November 2018. Has 417 pieces, four minifigures, and cost about $40 when it was released. One of the things I really like about this set are the two villains that are included. We have Sandman and the Vulture, which are both really nice figures and really done as large figures, given their, in the case of Sandman, he has the ability to move and sand around and create it into different shapes, which I think is well represented here. And then Vulture has his large flight suit, which we'll take a closer look at here in a little bit. The spider crawler, I think, looks really good at this scale. So let's start with that. You also see this little gem piece here, which is what the bad guys or the villains are after. So let's take a look at the spider crawler first. Here is the spider crawler. And I think it looks really good in this scale, done in the very nice, you know, red and blue color scheme. Lots of accessories on this. In fact, there are three stud shooters. So there's two in the front here that are just shooting these standard red studs. And then one here in the back. The stud shooter on the abdomen of the Spider-Man crawler here shoots this little spider piece done in silver with a stud in the middle so that it will fit on the stud shooter. Like most of the Spider-Man sets, this does come with the spider web accessory kit. So we have different size webs here that can be used. Once again, they put the studs on those, so these can be fired by this stud shooter in the back on the abdomen. We simply put that there in place, and then this can be fired by the stud shooter. So a lot of variety to the types of pieces that can be shot from the abdomen there on the spider crawler. As far as the looks of the spider crawler, I think it looks really nice with the dual engines here faced back to back. There's a storage spot for another one of these spider pieces. And then this blue, trans blue dome piece here in the back, which I think looks good and probably could represent a power source or a battery. The abdomen is almost rounded here with kind of a hexagon shape being made out of these slope pieces. Use of some of these sloped grills in the metallic silver color. Stickers on every single leg, which add a little bit of detail to the legs. As you see, there's a little bit of Technic shown out here, and there's a little wheel down here. So as this wheel moves, the legs move. So you can see those legs, the four legs will move. On the sides, these are just on Technic pins, so they will go up and down, and that's it. But if I roll this along, you'll see that the legs move pretty, pretty well. To pilot the spider crawler, we simply sit Spidey down here, and he can grab onto those control sticks and move the spider crawler along. There was also a spider crawler in micro scale or in mini spider crawler done as a poly bag set. So here is that poly bag of the spider crawler, which also came with a Spider Man. This is a different version of Spider Man. But as you can see, it is a good representation of the larger spider crawler. Let's take a look at the minifigures now. The four minifigures in this set include Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2099, Sandman, and the Vulture. Interestingly, all except for the Spider-Man figure are exclusive to this set. First up, let's take a look at Spider-Man and Spider-Man 2099. So this Spider-Man is pretty common. You see an awful lot with the red and blue coloring, the dual molded legs here on the bottom, the good chest printing here that includes the black spider logo, the hood, which is done in the traditional red with the webbing behind it, and then the black and white eyes. Spider-Man 2099 
is in all blue with red highlighting here so no real no real extensive printing although you do see this great big spider-man logo for the spider-man 2099 and then i like the face print how they did the eyes there outlined by red the minifigure itself is looks like a solid dark blue color you see spider-man does have the blue arms and red hands and then on the back he has his normal spider logo here. There is some printing on the back of his head with a little bit more of that web pattern. The back of Spider-Man 2099, if you look, there is a little bit of lighter blue printing here on the back of the head. You can see just covers that half there. And then there's some more of this light blue printing around on the back of the torso along with some black lines looking for some showing some additional sculpting let's take a look at the two villains here is Sandman of course standing on top of a big pile of sand I like how the coloring here of the two different you have the light and the darker tan colors in here he has this very large hammer that he's crafted out of sand as well And then if you take the base off here, you see inside of here, he does have some storage for some gems. So this is how he's stealing these gems kind of as part of the storyline. Vulture is also has this great big backpack piece, which are his vulture wings or his vulture suit per se. I think it looks really good. I like how the feathers here are done with these stickers and the dark green angled slope plates. These do move slightly, so you can position them at a little bit of an angle and they can also move in and out. They're on these ball joints, so it does have a lot of motion cap capability in it. These little fan pieces are a good addition. Those are printed pieces. And then the back of the flight suit is not quite as detailed, obviously. It does have this nice piece here to kind of give it a little bit more character. But by and large, it's just the anti-studs. It doesn't really look great from the back. So let's take a close look at these two figures. Here's a closer look at our two villains. As you see, there's a really nice printing here on Sandman's face and then down his torso. He doesn't come with legs, he just comes with this base piece here, which as I pointed out earlier is this nice swirl look with the two different colors of tan, so the light and dark tan colors or brownish colors. Vulture has this kind of grumpy expression on his face. He has the rest of the armor and uniform for the Vulture costume. As we move around the figures, You see both have very nice back printing. So here's the kind of the connection points to the rest of the vulture costume, the wings. No alternate face for the vulture. Sandman does have an alternate expression. As you can see here, the back printing is very similar to the printing on the front of the torso. Very consistent with these reds and then like a subtle kind of sand green color perhaps it's a very faint color in there for the additional texturing the hairpiece for sandman is the same color as the rest of his body done in that light tan color there are the four minifigures that are included with the set let's go back and i'll give you my final thoughts Overall, I think this is a really good set, but in this case, I think the spider crawler is actually a good looking build. I do like the action when you can, when you move the spider crawler around that makes the legs move. I think that's a pretty nice little play feature. I like the Spider-Man 2099, as I mentioned while reviewing the minifigures. And like I said in the opening, the villains really are good minifigures and really good little builds that go with them. As far as value goes, it is under the 10 cent per piece kind of baseline. It does have four minifigures, which I think is a good value. And then it does have some good playability. 
in with the set. So the good shooters there, the stud shooters on the spider crawler, the motion that it also does, all makes it uh, pretty nice. All gives it some very good playability. The spider crawler is built pretty solidly on a very solid base built up of plates and Technic pieces. So it is pretty durable. There's not a lot of pieces that fall off of it in normal play. Everything snaps together pretty solidly. So it does make for a good set for younger kids as well. Hope you've enjoyed my thoughts on this Spider-Man set. I'm going to get started on my next video. Until then, happy building. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I've left a link to my Marvel Superheroes playlist up here on the screen.